So I've, I've used this term vertical asymptote um, in, in both of the last examples. Uh, we haven't quite formally defined what this means. Uh, so the first thing to keep in mind is that a vertical asymptote is, is a property of a graph, whereas when we're talking about limits, limits are sort of intrinsic to a function, right? We take the limit of a function, a vertical asymptote is a particular property that the graph of that function might have. Um, so we can say the following. We can say that a graph, let's say y equals f of x, has a vertical asymptote. And so it's a, a vertical asymptote is a vertical line. So it has an equation of the form x equals c, right? x is just a constant value. So it has a vertical asymptote if, well, if any sort of limit at c happens to be infinite, right? So if, if the limit as x approaches c of f of x is infinity, well, plus infinity or minus infinity, or if the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x is plus or minus infinity, um, or if the limit as x approaches c from the left is plus or minus infinity. So if any one of these six possibilities happens, then we would say that we have a vertical asymptote um, for our graph at x equals c, right? Um, and it, it might be the case that, that you might have, say, the right-hand limit is infinite and the left-hand limit is not, or the left-hand limit might not even be defined. Um, that's fine. You would still say that there's a vertical asymptote, right? Um, if you think about, for just as a quick example, um, think about the natural log, right? y equals the natural log of x has the property that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is minus infinity. And we certainly would say that the natural logarithm has a vertical asymptote at 0, right? Even though it's not even defined to the left of 0. We can still say that because the right-hand limit is minus infinity, there's a vertical asymptote there.